What's up you guys, Jedi Master Josh here, and today we have a Scarlet and Violet build and battle box opening. These were only $11.35 or something like that each at GameStop. So if you have pro rewards at GameStop, you definitely want to go check out their deals. Tons of deals, and this is a really good deal. You get four packs and a little promo kit build and battle deck. But before we get into that, we're going to talk about last week's MVP card. I just kind of showed off this week's MVP card, but that's okay. Last week's MVP card was Nest Ball. If you guys want to know more about that, check out the video that we actually released on the 4th of July. Make sure you check out that video. But let's go ahead, set that off to the side. MVP card of last week. This week's MVP card is going to Boss's Orders. This is a wonderful supporter card. It's pretty, pretty well used in the format right now. It's probably one of the most popular used supporters. But... Let's go ahead and slip it out of this MVP card just a little bit so we can get a look at the text here. But switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. Pretty simple. This is really great if there's something on the bench that's worth more prizes or if it's getting built up for a next turn knockout or something like that. You really want boss's orders in your deck. Everyone seems to play at least one or two of these in their deck. It's a great card, so... Obviously, it's going to make the MVP card of the week one of these days. Might as well do it this week. And I just recently pulled this full art Boss's Orders Lysander Trainer Gallery card from Lost Origin. So I thought, you know what? Perfect time to do it. Let's go ahead and slide that back into its second MVP sleeve there. And we'll put it back here for Score Bunny and Eevee. EVs to hold. All right, let's go ahead and dig into these Scarlet and Violet base set build and battle boxes. Now, if you guys know about these, these are pretty awesome. If you don't know about these, these are basically like pre-release kits. So if you uh, if you go to a pre-release event, you're going to get one of these for $30 plus three bonus packs. So it's actually really worth it at the pre-release because you get seven packs total for $30. But once these go on sale outside of pre-release, they usually sell for about $21, $22, somewhere in that range. And it's four packs. But right now at GameStop, if you are a pro member at GameStop, you can pick one of these up for $11.35 or something like that. Still a really great deal. We'll say 12 bucks just to be safe, right? $12, that's amazing. You get four packs for $12, that's like $3 a pack. You can't beat it. You get this little kind of like uh, build and battle guide, but we're going to toss this off the side and we're going to see what our first promo is. Reva Vroom. All right, you know what? We got three of these, so hopefully we can pull a couple of different ones. But Reva Vroom, this is pretty good. I really like Reva Vroom and Vroom. They're... They're the Pokemon, I think they're actually really cool. But the cool thing about these, uh, when you get these, the promo that comes with it, each one of these promos has this awesome set stamp on it. So being that these are Scarlet and Violet base, we have the Scarlet Violet base set stamp on each of these. So we got Rev of Room there. We'll just set that off to the side. We'll get these packs out. We'll get into the packs here in just a minute. But we're going to open all of these first, see what all of our promos are, and then we'll go ahead and dig into the packs. Now, if you guys get the build and battle kits for Paldea Evolved, it'll have a Paldea Evolved stamp. If you get ones for like Chilling Rain, it'll have a Chilling Rain stamp, so on and so forth. So these are really cool products. I think everyone should try and get at least one or two of these if you can, just because the promos themselves... I feel like they're 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 worth it. J just the promos, even if you don't get too great of pulls from the packs, the promos are really. Let's see what our second promo is. We get Palmot. All right, actually, this is a really good one. So Palmot has an awesome ability here, Electrogenesis. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a basic Lightning Energy and attach it to this Pokemon. So, relatively speaking, if you were playing this. I mean, three energy for 230 on a one prize Pokemon. It is a stage two. You got to get it built up. But this is actually, this is a really good card. Okay, we'll go ahead and throw that off to the side. We got our second promo. Can we get something different? Let's see if we can get, a, this always happens to me. I always double up, but maybe we can get lucky. Let's get this out of here. Come on. We got to get a third one. We, I, now, I actually opened one of these last night for uh, some friends of mine in a Discord call, but that was a quack wibble. So we can say that right now we're doing pretty well because we have three different promos. The the Quackable, I threw it off to the side somewhere. This is somewhere around here, but just trust me. We got we got three different promos so far. We have to get the fourth one. Come on, we got to get it right here. I, I'm actually forgetting what the fourth one is also. It, it might be Hallucha. Let's go ahead and see. We got Rev of Room again. <laughs> okay. All right, that's all right. We still got, with the Quackable, we got three different kinds. We're going to take it. Here's our four packs. We got 12 packs to go through of Scarlet and Violet Base. There's only a few cards 
from Scarlet and Violet base that I still need. One of them is the Miriam, unfortunately, the SIR of Miriam. The other one is the SIR of Maridon EX. So let's see if we can pull one of those today. If not, it's still okay. There's a ton of great cards in Scarlet and Violet base. I'll take just about anything. All right, here's a code card for you guys. Let me know what you're getting from the code cards, and let's go ahead and guess an energy. We'll say a grass energy for Caps a Kid. We get Metal energy for Reva Vroom, I guess. All right, we got Capsicid here. We got Potion, Buizel. Let me know what you guys are getting from Scarlet and Violet base so far. What you guys have gotten from Paldea Evolved. Paldea Evolved has been really, really good in my opinion. Here we go. We got Maridon. We're looking for you, buddy, but in the EX form. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to our next pack. But yeah, let me know what you guys are getting. Paldea Evolved has been really crazy. Uh, at first, I was getting, like, no pulls myself personally, and then somehow I pulled two of the Iono SIRs within like four days of each other, and that's that just, at this point, I'm not upset about Paldea Evolved anymore. We're gonna, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with Paldea Evolved. Here's a code card for you guys. Let's guess an energy. How about, okay, we'll say Psychic for Fido. Fido's cute. Let's say, come on, okay. What's up, Fido? Why you, and Daydene too? You guys are both letting us down. All right, let's see what we can get. We got Floatzel, Team Star Grunt. We've got ourselves Lucario, a fan favorite, Flabebe. Behind it's a Mareep. Mareep is good and a Slowbro. Now, this Pokemon right here that Slowbro has on his tail has never gotten a name. What is that Pokemon? I would like to know. Maybe one day we'll get a little bit of more lore on the Slowbro tail chomping Pokemon. <laughs> let's go ahead and see what we can get from our next one. Now, these are in order... Uh, still the, the packs. I didn't mix them up or anything. So we've got this is the last kit that we opened So you can kind of see like four packs at a time what a kit would look like if you went to a pre-release and you know I was gonna guess grass energy, but we got Lechonk, we got Slowpoke, Zangoose, Watrill. Usually with the uh, with the pre-releases They're really fun because they're actually super challenging and then when you get the deck the deck is pre-built to be uh, pretty pretty mechanically sound. It, it should work, uh, relatively speaking, but these bonus packs you can build the rest of your deck out with. So let's go ahead and see if we can get something good to build our deck with Revivroom. You're going to need some help, buddy. If I remember correctly, I think I think you need a little bit of help. So there's, there's a code card for you guys. Let me know what you get from the code card. Let's say, there we go, Fire Energy for our boy Fue Coco. That was my choice in starter. Let me know what your guys' is Dang it. All right, come on. Well, let me know what your guys' choice of starter was. Was it uh, was it Quaxley or was it Sprigatito? We've got Sitite in here. we got Flaffy. Can we get... Let's get one IR card, one Illustrator Rare. Come on. Okay, we get the Chansey and a Meowskarata. So that whole build and battle box was actually... Uh, kind of a dud so if you were sitting in your build and battle tournament trying to uh, get some wins it it might be a little bit rough but you know it depends on what the rest of that rev of room deck was built out with you might have been able to find some useful stuff all right here we go we got a code card for you guys toss that off to the side let's get let's you know what we're not guessing based off of the first pokemon anymore we're saying fighting energy oh my gosh <laughs> all right all right, we're going to guess off the first Pokemon, I guess. We got Squowit. This is actually a really good card, too. Nestash. Once during your turn, you may shuffle your hand and put it on the bottom of your deck. If you put any cards on the bottom of your deck, draw one card. So this is really good to get you started with certain other cards, like Bidoof has been, I mean, Bidoof and Biberol, the Biberol Industrious Incisors ability, is what gets used with this a lot because you draw until you have five in your hand. So it's a really good way to just renew your hand, and you don't get the same cards back because Nestash has you put them on the bottom of your deck. But all right, let's see what we get next. We got Fortress. Come on, I talked too long about certain things. We got to get something good here. We got Drifloon, and ooh, we get Oinkalone EX, the stinky pig. All right, and I'm just making a joke. It's just a joke, you guys. We love LeChonk. We love Oinkalone, but he is, he is a, I mean, pigs stink. They, I, have you guys ever been around a pig? They, they, they stink, okay? But there we go. We got Oinkalone EX for our pull from, I think that, yeah, that's the first pack of the second box. So, so far... This might be a little bit better pre, uh, pre-release pre build and battle kit just for the sake of if you were building a deck, you could throw that in there and it would be like a tank. You could just sit there and eat attacks with it for a little while. Psychic Energy, come on, shop it. Dang it. All right, we're going to get one. We got to get one Tandem Mouse. We, we would have gotten one if we would have guessed for that poor Clauncher, and he now I feel bad for him because he was trying to... Ooh, there he you know. Okay. You know what? He forgives us. Thank you, Clauncher, for forgiving us. <laughs> Look at him. This is such a great artwork, too. Look at him. He's just hanging out in the water. And you got Skrelp in the background back here to, like, 
What what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing, Clauncer? Vice grip for ten damage. That's what he's doing. And be oh, and we get a Coridon EX little double banger action. This is actually a really good build and battle box. And all right, we're gonna throw those up into the pull pool. They will get sleeved at the end of the video. No worries. Everything's okay. Nothing to worry about. We've got Maridon here on the next pack. Look at this. There was three Maridon packs in that one build and battle kit. Does that? That's kind of strange. I don't. I've never seen that. Usually, it's like different artworks because they're kind of like from the same seating you know what i'm saying but let's go ahead and see what we got we've got ourselves a code card there and we've got how okay sprigatito you gotta help us out buddy give us a leaf energy give us oh yes thank you so much all right give him a little pat on the head thank you buddy okay we got hound hour we got Drifloon, citadel come on give us another pull this, this has got to be a hot box. That's what's going on. We got Penny. We've got Dox Bun and Slowbro. I'm not mad about that. This Slowbro artwork is actually really, really cool. I do like this. So let's go ahead and move on to our last pack of the second Build and Battle box. Did you guys play in the pre-releases? Did you play in any pre-releases for Scarlet and Violet Base? Did you play in any pre-releases for Paldea Evolved? Do you plan on going to the pre-releases for Obsidian Flame? Obsidian Flame pre-release, blah, 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 pre-releases happen at the end of this month. So the end of this month, Obsidian Flame pre-releasing. Okay, there's no colorless energy. So let's say steel. Is that going to, okay, dark. You know what? Fair enough. Fine. Tandem Mouse, Smoliv, we got Primeape, Pawmy. Can we get something good from this? This is the last pack of that box. So if we, I mean, if we do, this was a crazy box. We got Rotom and we got Don Dozo. This is actually pretty cool too. Release Rage. This does 50 damage for each Tatsugiri in your discard pile. So you could essentially get to 200 damage for two energy on a one prize Pokemon. That's, that's pretty good. And it's a basic. You don't have to evolve it or anything. That's, that's pretty good. All right. We're into our final build and battle box here. We got four packs. We got the starters on here. This is the perfect time for you guys to jump into the comments. Let us know which starter did you choose. Now, Fue Coco, look at this guy. How did you not pick? You know what? Sprigatito and Quaxley are pretty cool, too. I, I can't blame you if you picked one of those. But let me know in the comments which one did you pick. Let's see what we can get from this pack here with the starters on it. Now, I actually really like this artwork because it's just like two adorable i guess you could say it's just the three of them looking up at the camera like hey what's up pick one of us right all right let's say dark energy for mastiff we just got a dark yeah, yeah i should have i should have known we got ponyard wiglet toad's cool defiance band this is a good card as well we got drift blim can we get something we got nest ball squove it and we get ourselves a scovillain illustrator rare check that out it's so funny it's like they're arguing with each other over what they're gonna get for dinner right what do you got you want the chicken strips i want the chicken tenders <laughs> okay and behind it we got slow bro okay slow bro nothing against you buddy but we need you to be like a full art trainer or something like that okay we've got ourselves a maridon pack art next let's go ahead and see what maridon's got for us now i played violet first i do have both games because you you got to have both of the legendaries and all the exclusives and all that but what did you guys choose did you did you guys choose scarlet did you choose violet i chose violet just because i liked i kind of like maridon a little bit more water energy come on Oh, no. Don't look at that, Wiglet. Don't look. Okay, we got Toad's Cool, Sand Dial. But, yeah, I just thought Maridon was a little bit cooler-looking Pokemon, and uh, it's why I chose it first. There's no, there's nothing. It's not any deeper than that. But we've got Houndstone here for the rare. But let me know what you guys chose. Did you guys choose Maridon, Coridon? Are you a Professor Sada or a Professor Turo kind of guy, kind of girl? Let me know. We've got Scarlet and Violet. Coridon here. So this one's the, you know what? Maridon didn't give us anything. So this is where Coridon gives us something really good just to show off. Like, yeah, you should have picked me, right? But okay, let's see. We got Fighting Energy Sand Dial. Come on, Fighting Energy. We got a Grass Energy. We, you guys got to help us out a little bit more here. Those uh, those Pokemon at the beginning of the pack, right? We got Picnic Basket. This is actually a really good card. Um, it's heal 30 damage from each Pokemon, both yours and your opponents. And I know that sounds crazy, but there's uh, Hisuian Zoroark is out there and in the wild, and it's actually a really good deck. And if you were to ever play against it, having this would basically shut off, <laughs> shut them off like immediately. And so it's it's a really good card in certain aspects. We got Bombardier, Greedent, Tarantula, and oh, and we get the full art Arcanine EX with this fantastic glitter pattern. Now this is a Terra EX, so it's got the Terra ability or Terra rule up here in the top which is as long as this pokemon is on the bench it is prevented it prevents all damage 
from Pokemon attacks. Okay, it's hard to read <laughs> over the glitter, but all right, we're going to throw that up into the pull pool. That's a really great card. You can get Arcanine or Gyarados in Scarlet and Violet base set. And then in Paldea Evolved, I'm pretty sure it was Didene and Slow King, right? Yeah, I think, I, think, I think that's right. Let me know in the comments. We've got ourselves Gyarados as the final pack. Wish us some last pack magic. Let's see if we can pull something good from Gyarados. Gyarados... You know, Gyarados has been one of my absolute favorite Pokemon from, like, the beginning of Pokemon. He's just way too cool, so he's got to help us out here, right? I mean, we did good with the last pack, so I'm not too mad. We got Fido. Fido, come on. Psychic Energy, please. Come on, you got you to gotta help us out here. All right, just forget about it. We've got Scatterbug. A Drifloon, Sprigatito, Staraptor. Can we get lucky on this last pack? We got Wugtrio, Fido again, the Reverse Crocodile, and a Quaquaval. Well, let me know what you guys are thinking about Scarlet and Violet base set. What have you guys been pulling from Scarlet and Violet base set? What have you been pulling from Paldea Evolved? Are you excited about Obsidian Flames? It comes out... Obsidian Flame? Flames? Flames? Flame. Whichever one it is. It comes out at the end of this month, basically. So get ready for that. I'll have some openings on that, and I'll see you guys in the next video.